everybody. Welcome to the channel. My name is Lindsay and this is Life with Lindsay. Today we have a post review for you. If you guys have not been around for any of my post reviews, you're not sure what a post review is. That is when I share all of the final thoughts, the good, the bad, the ugly, all completely thoughts and opinions of a canvas that I have recently completed. Um, and I know that we all want that from our creators and sometimes we don't get that, but just please note that everything that I share here is going to be an honest opinion, but also keep in mind things that may be important to me may not be important to you and vice versa, but I will always keep it real with you guys, let you know my true thoughts and opinions. Um, but with that being said, let's get into this. Hi, if you're new, I'm Lindsay. Um, I do mainly diamond painting and some other crafting related content. I would love for you to like, subscribe, hit the bell, hop aboard the Hamas Express. Let's love you, friends. If you've, been, if you've been here before. Hi, welcome back. So, this is Bat from Civil Art. It is a Craft Ease canvas. This is one of their Glow collections. I'll do a slow walkthrough here. It is a 40 by 50. It is a round drill. She had 17 colors, including one AB, two crystals, and one glow in the dark. And I will show you guys all of that in depth here. Um, so I was inspired to work on this canvas after I watched Diamond Painting um, by Laura, her latest video. If you guys would like to see that one, I will link that one up for you guys in the eye. Um, but she was talking about her experiences with crafties recently, very recently. Um, and I have worked on one previous canvas, I believe. Um, and I do have a post review for that. And I will leave that one up in the eye if you guys would like to see that. That was also a Sybil art kit. That was also a glow in the dark kit. Um, and that was my first experience, I believe, working with this particular company. I do have another canvas from them. Um, it was a whole saga, uh, I want to say in 2021, um, I ordered an Alice in Wonderland canvas also from Civil Art and it had the numbers backwards for the amount of drills, uh, for certain colors. So I kept getting an overabundance of, I think it was the skin tone and not enough for the background. And after like three sets of drills, like it never really got resolved. Um, I think, oof, if I have that one, I'll link that one up in the eyes for you guys. But if not, you know, and that was a while ago. So um, let me share the quick stats for this one with you guys. As I mentioned, it is a 40 by 50. It is round, 17 colors, one AB, which was the white AB you'll see down here in the bat. Um, there are two crystals, both of them are different shades of red here in the hair, and then the glow in the dark, which I'll go over that in a moment here. Um, and it was, I completed this in a span of 17 hours and one minute over five days. Now, I have a couple things I want to go over with you guys. Uh, if you watched Laura's video, she was talking about the issues she was having with the adhesive and how I oftentimes tell people, like when you get that texture where it's like slipping and sliding, if you leave your cover up, it can help it cure. However, um, I had the same issue with this canvas. I don't know if it's because I'm working on it in a warmer climate right now, or if it's because it's been sitting there for a long time. But the best way for me to describe this is that this is goopy. Like, you know when you take Elmer's glue and you're using it for a project and you just put too much on it and it gets real, like, thick and it doesn't fully dry, but it's not fully wet. Like, it kind of has a skin over it, but it's still really, like, goopy. That's how this is. I'm going to turn my kiddo down in case you guys can hear her. Um, she should be sleeping, but she's not. Surprise, surprise. Um, and that's the best way that I can describe it. It was this, like, thick, goopy texture. And... It wasn't, for me, it wasn't that the drills were, like, sliding around so much as it was just not the most enjoyable to work with. Um, that being said, it obviously didn't deter me from finishing the canvas. Um, if you've ever purchased from Crafties, I don't know now if it's the way it was. As I said, this canvas is a little bit older um, I'm not sure what year I bought it. Um, I could throw that up on the screen here if you guys are interested. But when I purchased this, they were having a deal going on. A lot of times they have deals where like buy three, get the fourth one free or just different sales they have going on. But at the time of the purchase for this, um, 
It did not include an inventory sheet. And as far as I know, it still does not contain an inventory sheet for the newer canvases. Um, it wasn't super huge, big deal to me because they were pretty basic symbols. There were only 17 symbols, as I mentioned. But I would have selfishly preferred for there to be an inventory sheet so I could make stickers. I'm going to point out one thing here. It may not be a big deal to anybody, but this is the most useless legend, if you ask me. Um, there's one legend. It is up here on the top right. I work from the bottom right. I work towards the left, pull the canvas down, and then work left to right and keep doing that. There is not a second legend. The legend is down up at the top, so it really wasn't very helpful when I was working down in the bottom section here. Like, I couldn't see the legend at all. Um... So it would have been nice if there was another one printed down at the bottom or if this was maybe in a different location, like if this was down towards the bottom. But again, if you work from the top to the bottom, it might be in the perfect spot for you. Another thing I noticed is that every one of these colors came pre-bagged. None of my bags were sealed. Uh, I mean, in terms of like helping with static, I'm sure that's great. But in terms of like spillage, it was a little bit frustrating for me. Uh, when it comes to the glue. I want to mention there's always going to be overhang um, with any company. Some it is just right at the ledge and it's not a big deal. You can see over here, um, hopefully you can see, it really doesn't extend that far. Uh, across the bottom it's much further. But across this side, like you can see here, it was just sticking to everything. And yes, I could cover that. You can see it's much smaller on the bottom than it is on the side. I could cover that with washi tape, but I personally don't like using washi as my border. Um, you can see it right across the top. And I can tell you, I finished this a couple days ago, and it still has that like wet glue texture. And it's interesting because it's not like this has been covered, but it still has that goopiness to it. And it's very hard to explain, but if you work on a canvas from them and you feel the texture that I'm talking about, you're like, oh, that makes 110% chance. Um, ex explains everything. So um, don't mind the fact that this is all in a cardboard box. I actually didn't kit this down because I wanted to film the post for you guys, but I needed the other container. So here are all of my leftover drills. Um... As you can see, I don't have a whole lot of colors. So we have the glow in the dark, which you guys can see here. It actually does glow. We're going to talk about that again in a minute. Um, we have our... Oh, God. <laughs> our two different crystals. Uh, they are both different shades of red. And then... Trying to maneuver here. Where is my my AB. If you guys don't know what an AB is, it is an Aurora Borealis. This is a white drill and it has that holographic coating on top of it. Um, if I am not mistaken, the only place that this had the white ABs in the entire canvas is for the bat. Um, you can see where all the crystals are because it's all the bright red. Oh, I'm missing two drills right there. I will. Let's, let's do that while we talk. <laughs> I've got to have a pen near me, right? Um, but I don't know if I missed those or if they just fell out. I'm going to assume that I missed those, but you never know. Um, and just like that, it's done again. Anyway, something to note. Uh, I love this piece. I think it's really cute. It's one of those ones that from a distance, like, let me zoom you guys out a little bit. From a distance, you're like, oh, this is going to be full of color blocking. But then you see all of the color changes in the background. This had 17 colors in it, and if I'm not mistaken, nine of them are different shades of gray. Her face is gray, her eyes are gray, the background's gray, her skin is gray, the bat is gray. Um, and then you have a little bit of white, the red, and the glow in the dark. So I'm going to insert photos right here so you guys can see what it actually looks like with the glow in the dark drills on it. Um, I'm going to show you guys here so you can see the heart. It's going to be hard to tell because I have the lights on. And then the strands of the hair. But something that I noticed is that they make it look like on the website. And you can check it out for yourself. I, I'll have it listed down below if you guys want to check it out. But it makes it look like these are going to glow red. 
I noticed this on my other canvas, and I think that this is a trend that they do. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to tell from this angle, but all those clear-ish looking drills, underneath the symbol is a red symbol, and I think, let's see if I can maneuver this. I think the hopes was that you'd be able to see the red from underneath uh, when it glows, and that it would glow red, but it glows that greenish glow in the dark color, um, which is fine with me, but I think it's a slight, I don't want to say misrepresentation, but it's a slight misrepresentation of what you're going to get. Um, my other one did the same thing. It looked like it was going to glow purple, and then it was just those clear, you know, glow-in-the-dark colored drills. And these have really good glow to them. Again, you guys can see. I'm doing this with an overhead light and a ring light, so you can definitely see it's still bright in here. Um, you can kind of see a little bit of glow on it. But... I enjoyed the process of it. I am happy to have completed this. It is a smaller size kit. Uh, at the time that I purchased this, a lot of people were raving about crafties and everybody was running to buy themselves a crafties. And in my personal opinion, looking back at the time, there were a lot of companies that were doing these much larger canvases that were legally licensed, but there weren't a lot of shops that sold many pieces that were on the smaller end. Diamond Art Club for a really long time, for example, had a lot of what they called their beginner kits, which were small and very simple um, images. And it's only been more recently that they're starting to sell smaller images that are more in depth. And I think that was one of the reasons why people just went crazy over crafties because they could get a really cute 40 by 50, 40 by 60, um, canvas, I believe they actually have some smaller than this as well, and it be legally licensed, and it be for a decent price. And I think that's why so many people purchased them in like 2021-ish. Um, and I was obviously one of those people. I purchased multiple canvases, and I like the overall finish. I think she's super cute. I liked the experience of working on it. But this wasn't a love for me. Like, I definitely think this image is super, super cute. And I'm really, really happy. But in terms of, like, the actual process of working with it, not... the It, it was really the adhesive. Um, let me show you guys. Oh, no. Uh, my trash. My thing that had all my trash fall on the floor. Let me grab that. I'll be right back. Well, I'm back. Um, I was going to show you guys all my trash, but it fell... This way. Uh, in terms of trash, it had almost none. Uh, the exception of like one or two actual drills, all of the drills that I had in the trash were crystal drills. If you've never worked with a crystal drill, let me show you guys here. They have that silver backing and then it has like the see-through for the top part of the crystal. So for me, I had a couple where the silver backing was missing or partially missing, and it wasn't the worst, but when you put it down on the canvas, it was a lot more noticeable because it was actually showing the color underneath as opposed to reflecting off that silver backing. Um, and I would say that maybe for this entire kit, I had 10 drills that were trash. Um, so much, or so little so that when I looked on the ground there, I can't even find them. So they've fallen like deep into my carpet. So... Um, thankfully that's what vacuums are for, I guess. Um, don't come for me. Sorry. Um, anyway, I think that might be it for it, right, this one. Um, if you guys have worked on a crafties, let me know your thoughts and opinions and your personal experiences down below. Um, if you have not, would you go out and buy one? Uh, in terms of the price point, they are a little high for what they are. Uh, there are tons of companies now, like since this has come out, that do legally licensed artwork, which all of their stuff is legally licensed. They also have paint by number, which is legally licensed. And a lot of their uh, paint by number and diamond painting kits are the same images. Um, but you can get good deals by doing the buy three, get one free. Uh, they do have a couple affiliate codes out there. I am not affiliated with the company. Um, and off the top of my head, I can't think of who is. But they're out there. So if you're looking for discount codes, they do exist. But that's, I think that's it for you guys. I think my favorite part, I would love to say my favorite was the bat, but the bat doesn't look super batty. Um, I love this little heart. Why? I have no idea. 
That and the bow. Like, can we talk about that? That is such a cute bow. If you guys know me, I'm obsessed with Alice in Wonderland. And it kind of gives me, like, dark Alice vibes. But it is so freaking cute. And I would wear that in my hair today. But, like, look at the shine on this. I loved the way the crystals came out in this. I thought it did a really great job of having the hair be all special drills. Um, and I liked... When this was... When they released this, uh, Crafties, to my knowledge was the only company at that time that was offering mixed drill canvases. Uh, there are more companies now that do that. Um, T-Mall has them. Enablers Outpost has them. Diamond Art Club now has them. Uh, but it used to be you could get crystals or you could get ABs, but the two of them together plus a glow in the dark, those would be things that you would have to do on your own. So for that, I have to say I really, really appreciate what they have done. But um, it was cute. I enjoyed the size of this, and if I'm looking for more smaller sized legally licensed kits, I'll probably check them out again, but other than that, I'm not running to Crafties to buy another one. I do like that they have Sybil art. I do think her art is really adorable, um, but that's it. I think that's all I got for you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down below, um, but that's it. If you guys enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more videos like this or nothing like this at all, please make sure you give this video two thumbs up, one real life, one virtual. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Come join the Sparkle Squad. And while you're there, hit that notification bell. I do not operate on any sort of schedule. I operate on toddler standard time and I record when my tiny human is sleeping or like today, sleeping. Thank you guys so much for being here and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.